Okay, now I will show you much more advanced and much more flexible method of machining of these uh, slots. So first of all, I will disable our roughing waterline operation. I don't want to delete it, so I will just disable it. How do I do that? I press reset and then double click on the uh, this status icon. Now we can see the cross here, which means this operation is disabled and not considered in any of these projects output, I mean simulation or post-processing. Okay, so now I can create new operation. So I will create 2D contouring operation, which is located in two dimensional operations group. Please, rem please remember it. It is one of the most widely used operations in Sprutcam. So we'll, you will use it all the time. Um, so check it out. It is very, very powerful and very, very uh, user friendly. You will see what I mean right now. So I create 2D contouring operation. First of all, I will change the tool. I will use the same six millimeter uh, cylindrical tool, press run and nothing happens. Why? Because 2D contour also does not work without job assignment. Okay, in order to select the job assignment, I go to job assignment tab. Now what I can do. So first of all, I can choose these edges, by the way, uh, make sure that edges filter uh, is uh, selection filter is uh, turned on. Okay, so uh, I select these two lines and press curve. Okay, I will turn off the machine visibility. Okay, that's it. Now we can see the toolpath already. Not the toolpath, but these interactive elements. Okay, what's other option I can use for uh, selecting job assignment in this operation? Also very, very useful. I can select these surfaces and still press curve. Okay, and I have the same result. Okay, uh, that's fine for me now. Next, you can see that <clears throat> job zone is now uh, going uh, all the way to the bottom of the part, sorry, all the way to the bottom of the part. I don't need this, so I need to set the bottom level. I can do it in several ways. So for example, I can go to strategy. Here I have tap, top level. You can see it now, you can see the bottom level, but I can also uh, select them via job assignment. Uh, look how to do this. This is much, much faster and much more useful. I select the surface and press Bottom level, I select this surface and press top level. That's it. So now you can see that in uh, in strategy tab, we have top level minus two millimeters, bottom level minus seven millimeters, which is uh, obviously correct. Okay. So now I go back to job assignment and I will show you the coolest features of uh, 2D contouring operation right now. So in order to do this, I will choose this uh, point of view. So I will disable tool visibility and holder visibility and also I didn't, don't need the fixture now. So I have only the part. I will also disable machining result, but it doesn't matter. I just make it for convenience. Okay, we have these uh, nice uh, control elements which are interactive. What do they mean? So what we have here? So line, this is a machining line, machining toolpath. So I can choose, I can change the direction of it pressing this arrow. You can see now this is the beginning, this is the end of the machining. That's it, very easy. I can also uh, change this one. Okay, uh, next, I can change the machining side of course, now it will be, it is detected automatically, but I can change it like this. So we can see that this is my uh, job assignment. This is the contour I'm going along and I can change the side I'm going to machine. And here also I have the possibility to turn off equidistant calculation. So this is the center of the tool. If, for example, we have some... Um, 
cutting or something like that it's quite often used so we can use this uh, if we need and also uh, more interesting things so first of all these ones are the uh, operation uh, how, how is it called i will show you now overlap so entry and exit overlap by the way if i have switched to links for example and i don't see the job assignment i can still turn it on okay and now i will change this parameter and you see how it is changing so works like this so i have already clicked the button what does this button do is select and edit similar features together so we can see that if i drag one um this little element all the elements are dragging with it if i turn it off so i will edit only one of them very handy feature so also widely used please uh, use it when you need it okay and these little squares are the engage and retracts i can also make it with uh, as an arc i can set the level uh, the uh, sorry the uh, angle here and the radius here i can do it interactively so very 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 useful feature uh, so very widely used uh, with uh, sprutcam users so we will make for example this 45 degree uh 45 degree uh, engage and retract with uh, some radius okay like this which is uh, to my in my opinion this is just magic guys so you need to, to use that okay so i made uh, the direction uh opposite direction so first will be machined like in this direction second will be machined in this direction i will show you why i'm making this if i press calculate i can see that here we have um uh, we have a link which goes via safe plane so i can change it also uh in order to do this i switched to links tab and here i have transitions so in links um links section i have transitions and i will choose a round workpiece press run and now we can see that this transition will be uh, without uh raising the tool to the safe plane okay and i will also tweak one more uh interesting uh, one more thing uh is i will change the depth of cut so i will make it uh, not in millimeters or not in percentage of the tool diameter but i will use uh, the exact count of cuts i want to do so i will do two of them run but i will also i will also change the sorting so now we have sorting by cavities so it goes firstly one then second i will change sorting to layers so first it will be it will go layer one and then it will go layer two like this so we can see it nice so let's simulate and check what we have so i press reset simulate up to current operation and run okay looks very good okay but we have made machining of the only one of the slot how do we make the machining of all the slots of course we can choose these uh, areas select them as job assignments and add them here to this to this list but there is an uh, other way which i will show you is toolpath transformation uh, okay so uh, i switch to this transformation tab which is here you can see the icon by the way i will turn off job assignment visibility i don't need it anymore and now here we have a very powerful tool for toolpath multi multiplication so if we have for example some rotary axis we would use multiply toolpath by axis but we don't have a rotary axis because i will remind you that we have three axis machine so i will use multiply scheme so here are different multiply schemes you can explore it uh, yourself so i will just show you how to use one of them and i will show you round array okay 
So uh, what do we have here? So we have six slots. So I will choose six and we have angle step, which is 360 by six is 60 degrees. Uh, that's it. But you can see that if I press run, uh, the center of this multiplication is now currently in G54, which is obviously fine by default, but we need to move it right here. So in order to do this, I can drag it. You can see the result instantly, by the way, very cool Sprutcam feature. Okay. Uh, in order to attach it to the center, I need to enable smart snap. Take this, uh, take this point and attach it to the center of this hole. Very nice. Reset run. Okay. And let's check what we have on our simulation. Okay, let's, we have a stress sign here, which means we have some problem. Um, sometimes it happens. It's absolutely uh, no problem for us. We will know what's the problem now. Let's check, verify and see that we have some trouble uh, with the part gauge here in this area. And here we have rest material. So we made something, we messed something with... Uh, uh, with the the toolpath uh, multiplication, I think, and yes, I can see that I did not exactly um, attached the center point to the desired center of the hole. So now I'll recalculate it. Okay, and check one more time. Increase speed a little bit. Okay, now it's it has a check mark which is green, which is uh, nice. So we have the result. Okay, guys. So this is how 2D contouring operation works. It is a very very useful, very very cool, very uh, feature rich uh, operation. You can use these interactive elements which work like magic. You can use these buttons also. So uh, make sure to explore this operation because you will use it in plenty of places all over the projects. Uh, so experiment with it and have fun.